Hi guys, from Lewis here, back again for another video on the channel. In this one then, some breaking news. None of this has been reported over the weekend. I've woken up and we've sold the player. And I'm a bit guy personally. Morgan Whitaker then has rejoined Plymouth Argyle on a permanent deal. Breaking news and very, very important news for Plymouth Argyle and Swansea City in terms of money. Let's see what I've got to say about this transfer. So, Morgan Whitaker, one of my favourite players, has left the club finally on a permanent basis. We've seen him move on a couple of loans over the last couple of seasons to Lincoln City. We've seen him go to Plymouth Argyle as well, respectively. 22 years old, like I said, the fee is £1 million up front, including add-ons, which is a very, very interesting fee for Plymouth Argyle, which I'll touch on in a moment's time. The Swansea City then made 37 appearances in all competitions, six goals in a Swansea City shirt, including a hat-trick against Plymouth Argyle in the Carabao Cup, interestingly enough. It's a record transfer fee for Plymouth Argyle since their 2008 January transfer for Steve McLean in January 2008 from Cardiff City. So, yeah, you could tell Plymouth Argyle really want Morgan Whitaker when they've broken their transfer record for the first time in 15 years from another South Wales club. Um, yeah, Plymouth Argyle really wanted Morgan Whitaker. Obviously, he was on loan at League One level last season for the first half of the season. For Swansea City, then, in terms of the profit we've made, it's pretty good considering he's made less than a full season of appearances in the Championship level for Swansea City. We signed him for £750,000 from Derby County when they were about to hit into administration, so they were selling a lot of their young players on the cheap. So, we got a decent deal for Morgan Whitaker, and like I said, we've made £250,000 upfront profit. Profit with potential add-ons, including goals and, I'm assuming, uh, performance-based add-ons there. Um, for Swansea, then, scoring his debut versus Manchester City, so he did have a lot of potential with Swansea. You know, if you're scoring against Man City in your debut, you, you know, you're going to be a decent player. But unfortunately, it's just never really worked out for Morgan Whitaker under Steve Cooper, under Russell Martin, obviously now under Michael Duff, where, you know, he's not even played. But it's a shame, really, because I really like Morgan Whitaker. I've seen what he was capable of at Lincoln. Of course, his Lincoln spell didn't go too well. and probably had more red cards than he had good performances. But I played with Hardcale under Stephen Schumacher last season. Really excelled himself, obviously. Um, did really well in the uh, Devon Derby against Exeter as well. Obviously, if you score against Exeter as a Plymouth Argyle player, you're going to be loved regardless of your performances. But I'm really gutted because I thought Morgan Whitaker at Championship level has got the capability of being a good player. I'm not expecting him to score week in, week out, or gain assists week in, week out. But I generally feel like Morgan Whitaker has the potential to impact any type of game if given a chance. And that's the main thing about my sentence just there, given a chance. He never really got a chance. He got one or two starts, but if he didn't perform, he got bent which I thought was very unfortunate, especially under Russell Martin, because he never really got an opportunity. He played against Stoke, started scoring inside the first two minutes, and then just never really got an opportunity. And, you know, some of the players we had last season had endless, endless starts when they weren't performing. Joel Latterbordia, for example. Um, Joel Pro, for example, for a, for a large proportion of last season for the first couple of months he was terrible Joel Pro and you know never got benched for Liam Cullen for example so yeah um I feel sorry for Whitaker like I said but he is going to a club which loves him a manager who will get the best at Morgan Whitaker and I think that's what he needs you know he's still young 22 years old but the last couple of years at Swansea have ruined him I've got to be honest even as a Swansea fan it does you know hurt me to say that I've seen plenty of our girls fans saying that you know um Swansea could have had a lot more money in January which is true you know we rejected two million plus bids from Rangers um, in January, so this kind of makes no sense why we just didn't sell him. But obviously, you know, Martin wanted him in and around the squad as an op off the bench player. But yeah, we have lost money, but we've also made money. Forget what I mean. We could have made a lot more profit, but at the end of the day, we still have made profit on a player who wasn't going to be in Michael Duff's plans. In terms of Michael Duff's plans, then surprise, he's not used Morgan Whitaker. Of course, he's a quite versatile player. Can play as a number ten. Can play as a winger. Can play up front. Obviously, probably more better as a out and a wide man than he is up front as a number ten. But I still feel like Whitaker again championship level this is his level he is capable of playing at this level and yeah surprise we have sold them but of course with Jerry Yates coming in for a, a decent fee you know we will have to make our money back and obviously if Joel Pro doesn't end up leaving you know this will help recoup the Jerry Yates fee so yeah Stephen Schumacher said he's one of the most exciting young talents in the EFL and I totally agree with him I know people look at his numbers at Swan City and say you know they're not great but you've got to print this perspective that he never really got a chance at Swan City I don't think there was a more than two starts in a row for Morgan Whitaker Swans, which just shows, you know, his 
<laughs> is um yeah it's, it's just really harsh on the lad um like i said doing his first ever appearances at sunset he only managed five championship starts which is uh yeah not the best so crazy how again a million pounds for a player who's had five championship games for us but you know i think player have, have had a really good deal here you know there's plenty of other clubs who want to morgan went together there's rumors about Sutherland being interested at the start of uh the transfer window obviously rangers was still floating around so yeah i know people look at his numbers at swansea and say you know uh, we've had a good deal here but i personally think we could have had a lot more money than what we have and yeah fair play to Perth our girl you know they're not going to be just part of the championship this season they want to do well they want to stay up and be you know a uh, well stable championship club obviously they've had some problems with administration in the past so yeah best luck to Perth our girl really like Plymouth one of my favourite teams in championship and obviously league one last year and played some really really good football bit of a shame we didn't get Nile Ennis off here we were linked to him and Blackburn but obviously went to Blackburn but yeah Plymouth fans let me know what you think of this deal are you happy that you've broke your transfer record and brought Morgan Whitaker back and yeah, for Swansea fans, what do you think of Morgan Whitaker? Well, obviously, yes, type of Swansea, not the best. But overall, you know, we are making a profit. So I think it's a win-win situation for both. Obviously, Swansea get money, make a profit on the player. Players get a player who will start every week, will contribute goals, and obviously already has played for the club previously. So it's a win-win. Only slight like negative for Swansea fans is probably that, you know, we don't get a bit more money, which we could have had in January. But obviously, Plymouth Argyle, not the secretary, you know, as big as Rangers in terms of the financial aspect. So, yeah, best luck to Morgan Whittaker, who is joining Plymouth Argyle again under Stephen Schumacher. For Swansea City, then, business keeps on going. A few links with a few loan players, which I will um, keep you updated with. But, yeah. That's it for today's video. Best luck to Morgan Whitaker, who has joined newly pro Ed side Plymouth Argyle on a 1 million plus add ons. Good luck, Morgan. Good luck for Plymouth this season. Going to be very interesting to see how you do. And yeah, for Swansea, we've made pro for a player. You don't see that too often.